you may be asked to write a formula complete ionic or net ionic equation for a neutralization reaction. Here we'll show you how to do each of these. We'll start by writing these three equations for a neutralization reaction involving a strong acid and a strong base. We're given that the strong base, KOH, is neutralized by the strong acid, HNO3. The A part of this question asks us to write the balanced formula equation for this reaction. We start by writing the formulas for the reactants KOH and HNO3. Both of these are soluble compounds, so we label them as aqueous. The base KOH has one OH, and the acid HNO3 has one H atom. So the number of H's in the acid is equal to the number of OH's in the base. They are both one. So we don't need to add any coefficients to these two reactants. We know that 1H plus and 1OH minus react to produce one molecule of water. So we'll add 1H2O to the product side of our equation. Remember that H2O is a molecular liquid at room temperature, so we use the subscript L for it. The products of most neutralization reactions is water and a salt. 1KOH supplies 1K plus ion for the salt and 1HNO3 supplies 1NO3 minus ion for the salt. Using 1K plus and 1NO3 minus gives us the formula for the salt, KNO3. KNO3, like all potassium compounds, is soluble. So we write the subscript AQ here. So now we've finished the formula equation for the reaction KOH and HNO3. Check this yourself to make sure it's balanced. Part B of this question is to write the balanced complete ionic equation for this reaction. In order to write a complete ionic equation, once we have the balanced formula equation, we start by dissociating all aqueous compounds into their individual ions. But we leave any liquids or solids in molecular form, or neutral molecules. The first aqueous compound is KOH which is soluble and dissociates into one aqueous K plus ion and one aqueous OH minus ion. HNO3 is the strong acid, nitric acid. Strong acids dissociate completely into their ions, so HNO3 dissociates completely into one H plus and one NO3 minus ion. And the soluble salt, KNO3, dissociates completely into one K plus and one NO3 minus ion. Remember, we leave any liquids or solids in molecular form. So we write H2O liquid for the water in the complete ionic equation, the same as it was for the formula equation. We have now finished the balanced complete ionic equation for this neutralization reaction. At this point, you should pause the video and confirm that all atoms and charges are balanced. Part C of this question is to write the balanced net ionic equation for this reaction. In order to write a net ionic equation from the complete ionic equation, we start by discarding all spectator ions. These are ions that are identical on both sides of the complete ionic equation. Like all other equations, we leave any liquids or solids in molecular form. We'll start by rewriting the complete ionic equation and identifying and discarding the spectator ions. Notice K plus aqueous is identical on both sides of the equation, so it is a spectator ion, so we discard it. Notice NO3 minus aqueous is also identical on both sides of the equation, so it is also a spectator ion, so we can also discard it. All we're left with is OH minus aqueous plus H plus aqueous forms H2O. Remember because water is a molecular liquid, we leave it as a neutral molecule with the subscript L. We'll now tidy this up a bit. Usually we start the net ionic equation with positive ion. So now we have H plus aqueous plus OH minus aqueous forms H2O liquid. And we've now completed the balanced net ionic equation for this neutralization. All strong acid strong base neutralizations have this as a net ionic equation. Now we'll do an example where we write the formula complete ionic and net ionic equations for a neutralization reaction involving a weak acid and a strong base. We're given that the weak acid, H2SO3, is neutralized by the strong base, NaOH. And the A part of this question asks us to write the balanced formula equation for this reaction. 
The two reactants are H2SO3 and NaOH. These are both highly soluble in water, so they both have the subscript AQ. Notice the acid H2SO3 has two H atoms that can donate, and the base NaOH has one OH. In order to get the same number of OHs in the base as H is in the acid, we write the coefficient 2 here. With the coefficient 2 in front of the NaOH, we now have two OHs on the reactant side. We have two H's from the acid and two OHs from the base, so they are now equal to each other. The two H plus ions from the acid will combine with the two OH minus ions from the base to form two molecules of liquid water. So we'll add two H2O liquid to the products in our formula equation. A neutralization reaction produces water and a salt. We can use the cations in the base and the anion in the acid to come up with the correct formula for the salt here. 2 NaOH contributes 2 Na plus ions, and 1 H2SO3 contributes 1 sulfite ion. So the correct formula for the salt is Na2SO3. Like all sodium salts, sodium sulfite is highly soluble, so we use the subscript AQ or aqueous. Notice the total charge in the two Na plus ions, plus 2, and the charge in one sulfide ion, minus 2, add up to 0. So this is confirmation that the formula Na2SO3 is the correct formula for the salt. So now we've completed the balance formula equation for this reaction. The B part of this question asks us to write the balance complete ionic equation for this reaction. In order to write a complete ionic equation, we normally dissociate aqueous compounds into individual ions. But weak acids exist mainly in molecular form and dissociate into free ions only to a very small extent. Therefore, in our complete ionic equation, we leave weak acids in molecular form. Remember, we also leave any solids or liquids in molecular form. Now we'll write the complete ionic equation using the balance formula equation. We'll start with the H2SO3, which is a weak acid. And because it's a weak acid and exists mainly in molecular form, we leave it in molecular form in the complete ionic equation. Because NaOH is a strong base, it completely dissociates into its individual ions in aqueous solution. So we dissociate 2 NaOH into 2 Na plus aqueous and 2 OH minus aqueous. The salt Na2SO3 is aqueous and highly soluble, so we dissociate it into 2 Na plus aqueous and SO3 2 minus aqueous. Because the other product water is a liquid, we leave it in molecular form. So we write it as 2 H2O liquid in the complete ionic equation. We've now completed the balance complete ionic equation. Check this yourself to make sure all atoms and charges are balanced. Part C of this question is to write the balance net ionic equation for this reaction. To write a net ionic equation for the reaction of a weak acid with a strong base, we discard all spectator ions and leave any liquids or solids or weak acids in molecular form. We'll make a copy of the complete ionic equation and we'll begin by discarding all spectator ions. We see that the only spectator ion in this equation are the two Na plus ions on both sides. So we discard the Na plus from both sides and move these inward to tidy up the equation. And this is the final balance net ionic equation. This is different than the equation for the strong acid strong base neutralization reaction because H2SO3, or sulfurous acid, is a weak acid. We keep it in molecular form rather than dissociating it into 2H plus and SO3 2 minus.